Hello, I am Hector, General of the Minutemen, and I'm going to take you on a brief tour of Bedford Station. Now, I have been quartered here for the last six months, and we've only recently discovered uh, this location about a year and a half ago. To your right, you will see one of the three functioning locomotives that we have. This one here is the Yorktown, and then uh, we also have the Valley Forge, and then, of course, our our pride and joy, which is the Ticonderoga, which we will be taking and showing you on in, the, in a moment. Uh, we usually have two locomotives stationed here, and one is for storage, and one is our troop and personnel carrier. All right, to your left, you will see our storage barn. Generally, we will send out a group to do some forging around the area, usually within a three to five mile radius. Anything that they might find useful is brought into here. Any components that might be deemed useful will be taken to another location, or we will try to repair anything that is here. Okay, our next stop is quarters. Now we don't have, we have about a handful of people here at a time, so we don't have too many beds, but we have a satisfactory amount of beds here. We have about five beds here in this location, which is more than enough to take care of the handful of people that run this station. Now, cleanliness is very important to me. So, on my next stop I'm going to take you to is our shower station. Uh, as, as I stated before, these trains are for bringing supplies to and fro to different settlements. Um, currently we're in the process, and please excuse the mess, we're in the process of loading these, these cars. And they'll be on their way to uh, the Starlight Drive-In, which is going to be our um, storage depot. Okay, now for our shower stalls. If you look inside, we have three separate stations for one to get themselves clean. And we have a curtain to provide them with privacy. Now, besides running regular supplies, we also run livestock, which I will show you around the other side, that we have two functioning uh, cattle cars. And you will also see the Ticonderoga. So notice our little mascot here. This is Wolfgang. He sometimes gets underfoot. All right, and of course in front of us here is the Ticonderoga. This is our pride and joy. She is equipped with many defenses as she generally gets into many hostile uh, environments. This train is usually used to transport troops or also for uh, settlement evacuation. And as I indicated, um, we have uh, two functioning cattle cars. Um, we're transporting some Brahmin to the Starlight Drive-In, which, as I said, is our main storage depot. We generally have about three runs a day of general uh, supplies. As for livestock, when once every week or two, we will run livestock to the Starlight Drive-In. If you take a moment, you can take a look and see that we have two different types of Brahmin here. We have our standard Brahmin, and then we have our, our Black Longhorn Brahmin. Okay, our next stop is the wall. We're in the process of building that. 
On to your left, you'll see our garden here. This provides food for the station. As I said, we're in the process of building this. We want to make this area a little bit more secure, so we've just only begun building this about three months ago. So I, I please ask you to please be careful and watch your step as you're walking around the area. Okay, our next stop is the electronics building and any components that we find that might be deemed useful is brought here and sorted. One of the best finds was three functioning construction power armors, two here in the station and one over here that have been a great help to us when lifting excessive weight. Our next stop is the clinic. It is staffed by a nurse 24-7, uh, provided by a uh, Miss Nanny Robot, right over there. We also have a doctor on call as well. At the moment, she is at another location dealing with an emergency. Another thing that's important here is law and order and any infractions are dealt with here at our police station. We have someone on call 24-7. And now for our last stop on the tour, we're going to take you on board uh, some of the cars here on the Ticonderoga. As you can see in front of you, we have a functioning tank thanks to the skillful hands of Sturgis, which will come in very handy in more hostile environments. Our first stop is our sleeper car for um, when we're transporting either troops or we're evacuating uh, settlers. The car provides a cooking station and, and is able to sleep eight comfortably. We have a small table for, you know, eating or relaxation. There's plenty of food and uh, books to read. As you can see, this car once belonged to Voltec. We try to provide as much comfort as possible, whether it be for the Minutemen or if we're relocating settlers. This car here is for either evacuation or for settlement uh, relocation. I hope you enjoyed your brief tour of Bedford Station.